Hello and welcome to Emerge Skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to backup the database metadata uh, using the MySQL Workbench in .SQL format. So, one of the best way to backup the database is using the MySQL dump, which can be uh, used from the command prompt, which is uh, which can be used from the shell. Either it is from uh, the Windows command prompt or uh, using the Linux uh, shell. Uh, but when we use the MySQL Workbench, it is a GUI tool and the work become very, very convenient in terms of the options which are available. So in this particular demo, what we are going to do, we are going to take the backup of all the schemas or all the databases which are installed on a MySQL server. And uh, the server is a Linux server. The IP address is 192.168.1.51. And uh, we have created a privileged user. The uh, name of the user is MySQL Backup 51, which is already created and it has the privilege to take backup of all the schema and the objects. So we are not going to discuss how to create that user because that part is very simple. What we are going to do is we are going to create, uh, take a backup of all the databases and uh, its objects and only the DDL part will be covered. So let me log into uh, let me show you the so this is the mysql workbench and uh, i have already created a connection on 192.168.1.51 and uh, and the connection is already been created on the server 192.168.1.51. Just click uh, this particular connection and uh, it will take you to the, uh, to the uh, window where it is connected. So on the top, you can see file, edit, view, query, database, server, and tools. What you have to do is you have to click uh, server. Under server, there is something called as data export. You click that. Once you click this, you will be able to see uh, the objects. So these objects are uh, these objects are uh, uh, the if if you see it, it is written object selection. So and if you expand further, whatever you have to take export of the schema or the databases, you have to just select those. I'm going to select everything just for this demo and on the writer side you can see dump structure and data what we have to select is just the dump structure only and additionally we wanted to uh, dump all the stored procedures and functions events and uh, dump triggers we don't want to uh, dump it to a uh, uh, project folder we wanted to dump it to a self-contained file so everything there will be uh, in a file and um, uh, we, we you, you can select or unselect this uh, create dump in single transaction self uh, uh, contained file only or uh, in that particular file the dot sql file which is going to be created you can have this uh, include create a schema as well so just say uh, once you say start it will show you so you, you can click uh, this export progress as well just to show uh, just to see what all is happening if i just say ex start export it will show you so there is an uh, the SQL query which is generated which is mysql dump so when you take the backup using uh, um, workbench it is same there is nothing different it is just a gui mode and uh, this is this is very very uh, convenient to use and uh, uh, the dump file which is created uh, this one uh, this is just uh, if you open this I just wanted to show you how uh, it looks after it has been backed up so you can see that it is just not nothing else is just a mysql dump backup and uh, server version and other things are there then it is a starting with the create database uh, uh, um, sys and uh, 
if uh, and all all the objects will be uh, uh, the the uh, the comment is the command is starting with drop it if exists when we use this file on other server or on the same server it is going to first check if it is already existing if it is existing it is going to drop it if it is uh, already um, uh, if it is not existing it is going to create it so you can see that create database if not exist and it is going to uh, drop the things which are uh, available so you can select these options so mainly this uh, schema structure or the database structure is used when there is a requirement from the application team to create the structure on some other environment and uh, uh, and just create the blank schema and they will pump the data through their uh, uh, through their application uh, i think it is going to help uh, and you can see all the SQL statements are there. There is, it is just the structure only, structure of all the databases, tables, and all the uh, uh, the objects which we have selected, like procedure triggers and events. So everything is being captured. You can restore it. It is just dot SQL for uh, file. You can restore it using the uh, GUI tool uh, like this one only, MySQL Workbench. I hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.